Woo! Watch me. These rums reminded me more and more. One second. <coughs> you okay, Father? <laughs> I get in there. Welcome back again, rum lovers. Jamie here again with my friend Emmanuel. All right, so you've seen us done this Caribbean strong rum, right? And now we're gonna stick to Jamaica. So today we have rare nephew overproof, and we have Hamden Estates fire sorry, rum fire, right? So both overproof rums out of Jamaica, two different distilleries. We have a water. Right, Important. we needed it last time, so we're gonna need it again. Yes, right. So, we're gonna start with the rare nephew, you know, as that is the what you say, like the basic that is like the, the, the uh, I wouldn't call it basic, I would call it a staple in right. the Jamaican community, right? So, it's a staple and a standard, right? So, it's yes. a standard of overproof rum. So, we're gonna start off with the rare nephew, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna see what harm them, what the fire, the, the rum fire have to offer. Now we're gonna pour. That's me there. Can yeah, we pour too much? Nah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, we are. Right. We'll be alright. Alright. I'll pour you a little bit because you won't waste too much. Yeah. I have no intentions of drinking all of this anyway. Alright. So the rare nephew, I don't know, like to describe the bottle is just like it is the standard. Mm -hmm. So the Jamaican flag colors on the bottle. Um, have you ever really looked at this bottle? I never really look at it because I never really enjoyed it, seeing it a lot. <laughs> you know, so it is, I would call it like 90% of all Jamaicans, mm. when you ask them for rum, mm. the first thing they talk about is Rhea Nephew. Right. Even though a lot of people still talk about Appleton. Right. But Rhea Nephew is part of the conversation. Almost always. Correct. Correct. So, my first encounter of the Ray and Nephew Overproof was uh, Juve. So, there's Juve, which is like a, um, a part of Carnival and the mm. Miami Carnival. And I went to a Juve and all the event had was Overproof from. And it was my first time. And trust mm. me. I couldn't handle it. I, I honestly, I didn't like it my first, my first 10 drinks, I didn't like it, right? I don't even think I liked the 11 drink either, but it was something new to me. It was a new experience to me years ago. So I've grown a little of, you know, understanding and appreciating um, Rare Nephew Overproof. So mm -hmm. today, we're going to get into it. So right. we're going to start off with the nose. What do you smell? Sugar cane. You want a sugar cane? What kind of sugar cane you have for something? I don't know what it is, but that's the first thing I get. Mm. Is a very molasses, like sugar cane after it's been turned into molasses. Hmm. I kind of get in that. I don't know. I get in. And I feel like the last comparison we did with the rare nephew, mm -hmm. I said something completely You're probably <laughs> <laughs> I think I said something completely different. I, I honestly can't so, recall. We're going to put the link in the bio for the yeah. next one. So look up at, at the card and we're going to show you the link to the strong rum review. That just goes to show, man, that it's versatile. I, I don't so, know. Maybe you know different not times, <laughs> Different time, different sense. But um, the funk is definitely there. Yeah, it's funky. It's funky. It, it's sweet. Mm-hmm. There's a weird, there's a citrus undertone. There's a ripe banana. I don't get all that. You need to sniff till the nose it burn your hairs, man. It burning too much already. It, yeah, it really is. It is it's strong <coughs> on the nose. Mm-hmm. Mm. Alright, I think I get all my notes already. Yeah. You ain't get no notes at all. I just on the molasses thing right now. Alright, so. Let's go for the taste. Woo! Woo! Still, still heavy on taste. Yeah, a lot of I taste. Mean, expected. Everything I smelled definitely tasted. Yeah, expected. So, 
other reviewers I've seen they've said you need to add a little bit of water to it. Think we should add a little water to it? Yeah, why not? Alright, so how they do it, they try to do a little drop at a time, so you you can use like the core. Okay, so let's try that. Oh shoot. Sure. Alright, so you added a corkful? I added a corkful. I think you added too much. No, I added right. just a corkful. Alright, so, so let's see. Let me try to taste again. Okay. <laughs> Did not help. Yeah, whoever said adding a corkful helps, don't know what they're talking about. All right. Didn't help. That did not help. Lots of taste. I hate to be the bearer of bad news to your Jamaican followers. Mm. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was his take on the Ryan nephew. For me, I did get a lot of the flavors on the nose, on the taste was a lot. Mm. But we're gonna try now for the wrong five. Alright. Alright. So this is Hamden Estate, a smaller producer out of Jamaica. They do some pretty expensive bottles of rum. Uh, I think most of the bottles start at about 60 US and it goes all the way up to like 114 is the latest that they have, which is called Great House 2020. Mm -hmm. So that is Hamden Estate. From here to here, mm -hmm. smell it already. Really? Yeah. All right, that's right. I don't know. I feel like the nose is a little less. <coughs> no? <laughs> all right, all right. That's right. Whew. All right, all right. Unless less is more, I don't know what you're talking about. I, honestly, I, to me, it smells a little less. To me, it seems a little more sweet. The scent is different. It's different, yeah. So, I would, I would say that the scent is different. It still burns. You still, I still get a whiff of what the real nephew is. Mm -hmm. when but I you get something this, different. You I get something different. To me, I get a little more, of it. a little closer to the morning moss. So it's kind of like an in between for me. <clears throat> okay. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Taste. Taste. All right. Taste. Woo! Watch me. These rums reminded me more and more One second. <laughs> of Sunset. <coughs> so, the proof is way less than Sunset. This is 63% both of these rums. <coughs> you okay, pal? <laughs> I get in there. <coughs> the proof is a lot less than Sunset, but the flavor profile, that metallic -y kind of taste I got from the from the, the sunset rum mm -hmm. is really close to what I'm getting here. Okay. A little bit more, it's way it's way more palatable to me than sunset. But I still get that it's like almost if you dis if you dilute the sunset, you'd get fire um rum fire. Mm -hmm. I get the metallic taste a little bit. Yeah, the metallic I, I get, get the metallic, the metallic taste. taste. Yeah. And of unfortunately, that's the only taste I get. <laughs> There's, there's something else there. There's some it, sweetness it there. It has, yeah, I wouldn't call it sweetness. Mm. I would call it the same type of molasses kind of vibe. No, there's on. no molasses here. I don't know what it is. But this is I just guess. not molasses. Metal and molasses is not the same. It is very metallic. There's some yeah. sweetness. Why are people making this? I don't know. Like, they sell it. People buy it. I bought it. So apparently it's a good seller. Jeez. Right. No. <sighs> All right. I think this is like if I want to impress my friends mm -hmm. to be like, oh, I have the strongest rum or something like but that. But it isn't the strongest rum. I know, but you know, regular people who are not accustomed to drinking mm. alcohol like that. Yeah. This is like the strongest rum. To them, you know? Alright, alright. So, so I feel like this is like a let me impress my friends wrong. Show them what I have in the collection. I right. won't buy this for consumption. Alright. You know? If I want to sprinkle it around my house. Also. So alright, we did dilute the real nephew with a little cough. So we should You're do this. Try to do that the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if, if this works a little better this time. I don't think it will work. I'm making a mess here. 
Alright, so we spool it around let it breathe a little and we'll try again. Let me just put some right. down. So again, rum fire is another Jamaica overproof from the Handen House, mm -hmm. right? They sell more premium alcohol, um, like price difference, uh, ATA from, from Hamden House is $60 and uh, ATA from Jamaica is about $35. So it's a large difference in prices between the two houses. Right. Right. So, but, you know, to each his own, right, it's a small, more boutique kind of, kind of um, distillery type mm -hmm. of establishment, unlike Appleton, which is like, you know, they're like, they're like the, the biggest of the, of the rum brands in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we we'll try again. Yeah. All right. mm -mm. So, yes, you add water, you get less alcohol, but the taste has not changed. Yeah, nothing changed. Yeah, it, I don't know. I don't think water works with these rums. You probably need to fill the glass yeah, yeah. with water. Yeah, but then you, you don't want to put too much water where the alcohol breaks down and just mm -hmm. taste water and alcohol. Right. But you want to put enough that it breaks down the strength of the alcohol. You can get more of the flavor of the alcohol. Yeah. And we tried that. And we did get the flavor. The flavor yeah. stayed. The flavor is definitely there. But um, I don't know. It, it, it's, not, it's not my favorite. So. No. You would rather so I know you're not a rare nephew fan, but you would rather the rare nephew. I mean, to the rum fire. All in all, um, for the sake of comparing, mm -hmm. I will say that if I had to choose, yeah, I will choose the rare nephew. Okay. If I had to choose this, mm -hmm. um, I don't think you should be drinking anything that say rum and fire on the bottle. Well, it is a pretty bottle. No, yeah. you don't like it. You don't like the yeah, fire and ice kind of beer. It's good. It's good, but it's the, catchy. The label on the bottle is yeah. not a true representation of the contents. That's, Maybe it is. Nah. You ever drink fire? You shouldn't be drinking this. Exactly. You shouldn't be drinking fire. You shouldn't be drinking this either. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> people do it, and more power to y'all. But I just I well, can't. we tried the real nephew. Mm -hmm. We tried. The rum fire. Um, I think we both agree. Yeah, rare nephew, the rare nephew over the rum fire is better than the rum fire. I yeah. honestly, I think rum fire is this little brother to sunset. There's just so much taste to this thing. Yeah, I can see that. It is. It is. It honestly like you just added more water to the sunset rum. That, that that's what I get from it. Yeah. You know, rare nephew has its own taste, its own profile. The rum fire to me really reminds me of Sunset Rum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. that's the review, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us the other strong rum to drink. We will try to acquire it and add it to the next tasting. Um, let me know where I can find it too, because people have been telling me I should get um, this strong rum out of Bar. What is it? No, from Grenada. Grenada. Yeah. Which one was that? Is the um... I think it's Rivers. It's called. Yeah, Rivers. Yeah, so rivers, a lot um... of people saying to get the Rivers. Yeah. I can't get the rivers, right? If anyone wants to send me some rivers, just message me, right? I'll get back to you on that. Um, but we tried these two. Rear Nephew is the winner for me. Rear Nephew, um, for sure. If you guys disagree, let us also know in the comments, right? Let me know why you like rum fire more. I don't know why. Maybe you like drinking <laughs> fire, right? Or you really like sunset. If you like any of those two, then I guess rum fire is yours. But for us, yeah. you know, that was our choice. All right, guys. You wanna, you wanna See you next time. Cheers. Let's throw down the rest. Cheers. Not the rest. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. We ain't throwing back any rest. All right. Um, All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did I throw back the rest, fam? Oh boy. Oh, uh, you're not to go far tomorrow. <laughs>